Okay, now for question number seven from uh, M1 Mechanics 1 paper from January 2010. The GCE paper, not the IAL. And this question on vectors. Um, I and J are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north respectively. So I is due east and J is due north as we normally have it. Unit vectors of length one unit. Okay, um, a ship S is moving along a straight line with a constant velocity. At time t hours, the position of the ship is S kilometers. When t equals zero, S equals nine, I minus six J. When t equals four, S equals 21, I plus 10 J. Find the speed of S. Okay, so that's the first question here. So I'll just split it up into separate parts here. So we know in this question, um, we are given the initial position when time equals zero. So one of the things that we should have learned is the position vector of something which is moving at a constant velocity. Okay, is given by its initial position. That's the position when time is zero, plus its velocity times the time that it's been moving for, right? So in this case, uh, we need to find the speed of s. So we first, to find the speed of s, we need to find its velocity. Okay, so what they gave us is, they gave us um, its position when time is zero, which is nine i minus six j. All right, that's what they've given us. They've also given us, um, its position, okay, when time is 4, which is 21i plus 10j. And they've also given us, of course, the time for hours, okay? So the time that it's been moving for. And they've told us to find basically what um, v is, okay? So in this case, we know that S, okay, um, okay, so we know now that we can say that its position at 4 is 21i plus 10j. Okay, I'm just writing as a column vector. And that's equal to its initial position, which is 9i minus 6j, plus its velocity vector, which we have to find, Okay. Okay, so I'm going to call that x i plus y j times the time, which is four. Okay, so we can find out what this velocity vector is. Okay, very simply by just we know that twenty one is equal to nine plus four times whatever that vector is. And we can say that 10 is equal to negative 6 plus 4 times whatever that component, that y component, that j value is. Okay, so here we're going to have 21 minus 9, which is 12, equals 4x. So I can say x is equal to 3. Okay, so that's going to be, the velocity vector is going to be, going to have a 3 for your i component. And you can say 16 is equal to 4y, so y is equal to 4, 16 divided by 4, so that's the j component. Now, they ask us for the speed. Now, the speed is not the same as the velocity. The speed is the magnitude of the velocity, okay, which is a magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude of this vector, if you think about it, 3, 4, you're going to go 3, across to the right and four up. The magnitude of the vector will be like this here, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle, of this yeah, right angle triangle, three, four, sorry. And that will be five, three, four, five triangles. So the speed is five. Now this is in kilometers per hour, because this distance is in kilometers and the time is in hours. Okay, so there's this, the, the answer. Now, many people will write the answer as 3i plus 4j. However, um, you know, this is asking for the speed, not for the velocity. So, 
You'll lose a mark if you leave it as 3-4. You must find the magnitude of the speed, okay, which is the, uh, which is, uh, sorry, the magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed. Then it says, give the direction in which S is moving, um, the direction in which S is moving, giving you answers a bearing. Okay, so we just kind of made a little diagram, but I'll do it again. You know that if this is, it's, it's moving in this direction, it's going for every three, that we know that the velocity is three, four. So that means for every three across to the right, it's going four up. This is horizontal, this is vertical. So one, two, three, four. So you can make a little diagram. Okay, you know that this is its direction. Okay, they want to find the direction as a bearing. Bearings are always measured from the north line. Always measured from the north line. And always measured in the clockwise direction. So we need to find this angle here. Now if we consider the triangle that we formed here. Okay. This is um, 3. This is 4. Now th this angle here. Let's call it theta is the same as this angle here, which we have to find. This is that this is the angle will be the bearing. It's a bearing measured from the north line clockwise. Okay, so we can see that this angle, if I find it, is what I need. So we can say the tangent, because this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. The tangent of our angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Therefore, the angle we need theta is equal to inverse tan of three quarters. So Press shift tan and three quarters. Close the bracket. We have 30.869. 36.869, and it continues on and on. Okay. So, oops, let me just clear that. That's a bit messy. Okay, so we have 36. 0.869 so therefore the bearing okay should always be given to the nearest degree okay and it should always be written it should always be written with three figures so this should be written as 0 3 and to the nearest degree that will be 7 degrees okay that's the answer to part B and I'll do part C and D and the next video